Despite the economic downturn, Elon Musk has been able to point SpaceX in the right direction. I was able to sit down with Elon to talk about taxation, recession, and what it's like to build a business in California. How does a recession affect a company like SpaceX? Have you all been affected? The recession? Um, we've actually done reason reasonably well, actually. And um, in California? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we've, we've done fairly well. Uh, we, we've continued to grow uh, throughout the recession, and um, yeah, it, it really really hasn't had a negative effect on SpaceX. We might have grown slightly faster, but, but we grew very fast. Okay. And I debated whether to start SpaceX in Silicon Valley or uh, Southern California. And in the end, I decided to do Southern California because there's a larger base of aerospace engineering talent in Southern California. But then with Tesla, uh, Tesla actually does fit more in, in, in Northern California because electric cars, if you think about the problems that, that are associated with that, you know, it's sort of software engineering, electrical engineering, it's, it's batteries, skills that are actually better uh, in Northern California. California as a state needs to be cautious about um, the level of taxation and regulation that, that it applies to yeah, companies. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised that you're based here. Well, you know, w when I started the two companies, the California Max, the, the, the marginal tax rate in California was 9%. I think it's now almost 14%. So that's a 50% increase since I started the companies. Um, and it's, it makes it progressively harder to, to hire people um, and to, to compensate them competitively. Um, if, if we're competing against companies that are in states that have zero to low personal tax or in countries that um, are, um, are much cheaper to operate in. It's fortunate that California is, is, is a great place to live. California has to be careful not to, to over-regulate companies in, in the state and make it difficult to operate. So you don't patent your technology. Why is that? Why did you make that decision? Well, at, at SpaceX we don't patent. At Tesla we do. Um, we don't patent anything that's hard to, to determine just by looking at the rockets. If you can understand the um, technology just by looking at the rocket, then, then we will sometimes issue a patent. What we won't patent is anything that's hidden or hard to determine about our technology. R Russia today and China long term are our toughest competitors, and I think we would have some, some challenge enforcing a patent suit against the Chinese or Russian government. So up until recently, when people think of space exploration, they think that that is the role of the federal government. Sure. Do you think that your business, your company, is just as capable or perhaps more capable? Well, I, I think I think that the, the likely uh, solution is going to be some combination of a of a private and, and government effort. So not completely privatized. No, I, I don't think it's likely to be completely privatized. I, but I do think it's likely to be majority private. And government can be quite helpful in in the beginning. While I'm, you know, very much a proponent of the of the free market, there is a limited role for government in, in certain certain areas, um, particularly where it's a large expenditure, but it provides a small amount of good for the whole the whole country. Something like the, the Hubble Space Telescope is a good example. Um, you know, we, we learned a great deal about about the universe. We got these incredible images, and they were just sort of these stunning images. And I think it really. You know, it was helpful in inspiring kids to study engineering and science and that kind of thing and to learn more about that. And life has to be about more than just solving problems. It can't be that all you, all you do every day is wake up and just sort of solve one miserable problem or another. They have to be exciting and inspiring events that make life worth living in the first place. Against all odds, Elon Musk is inspiring a new generation of explorers and innovators who believe that space travel is possible for everyday people, not in some faraway time, but in the very near future. For Next Generation TV, I'm Michelle Fields.